Summer, welcome back to my channel and to Thailand vlog number five, I think it is. So if you guys are new here and you've never seen me before, I am currently backpacking around Southeast Asia, starting here in Thailand. And I'm filming everything as well as documenting it on my Instagram and TikTok. So I'll link that below for you and defo go check out where we've been so far. But for today's vlog we are coming at you from a brand new island. So we are in the island of Koh Tao. So we arrived in Koh Tao this morning. We came on the ferry from Koh Phangan. The ferry was a bit more expensive than it was to get from Koh Samui to Koh Phangan, which was the previous journey that we did last week. Um, so I think we paid £15 each for the ferry, which seemed like quite a lot. We have just arrived at our hotel and I'm going to show you a little tour of the room, of course. So we are staying in a place called Summer Guest House and Hostel, which was really, really highly recommended. I've seen it in quite a few YouTube vlogs, quite a few comments on Facebook and stuff. So we have gone for a private room with air conditioning, and this cost us, I think it was £17 a night or £8.50 per person, that works out. So I'll show you what it looks like. So it is a really spacious room actually. We've got a private bathroom as well, which we've definitely gotten used to having our own bathroom. So didn't fancy having shared one, but we've got this big fridge as well, which is cool because so far everywhere we've stayed, some places haven't had a fridge and the ones that do, I've had a really mini one, so it's quite cool that we've got a big one. We are actually right on the front street, so this is our view. We've got a 24 hour supermarket there facing us. Not a 7 Eleven, but we did have a quick look in and it looked like quite a good one. So, And then it also comes with our own balcony as well. So Dylan's out here, we've got locked out. Nice place to sit. So I'm pretty sure I said this in a previous vlog, but on this trip in Thailand, we're going to be staying on the Gulf side of the island, which also makes it a lot easier because we're not going back and forth across country. So yeah, the Gulf side has really good weather right now. Literally only had a couple of times we've seen rain and it's been really, really hot. The rain has not been bad at all when it has rained and it was mainly in Bangkok that it was raining. There's pretty much three main islands on this side. It's Koh Samui, which is the biggest one. That's where we started off. Then Koh Phangan is like the middle one and Koh Tao, where we've just arrived, is the smallest one. I think it's only 21 square kilometers. So it's a really small island. So it's probably gonna be super easy to get around we are going to be hiring a scooter again it's going to be our third one what how did you know it's 21 square kilometer i googled it before oh, right. <laughs> so koh tao is most famous for its scuba diving and other marine activities like that so a lot of people come here i'd say the majority of people who come here come to do their scuba diving qualification it's apparently the cheapest place in the world to do it um, neither of us are particularly interested in doing that course. Although it is cheap, I think it's still a few hundred to do it, is it? Is it like 300, someone 300 said? Quite, yeah. But of course, if you do love diving, then this is, or if you are interested in starting, this is the place to be for that. This is what I've been forced to wear. I've not worn this skirt since the temples in Bangkok, but if you watched the last vlog in Koh Phangan, you will have seen that I got quite bad sunburn on my legs when we went hiking. So it's probably best just have them covered. Have also got it a bit on my arms and my shoulders, but hopefully that's okay. We have got our bikes and we decided to just go for a random drive and just see where we ended up. And we actually came across this place, which is called, I think it's a viewpoint 360 or something. I'll put it on screen. Yeah, it's like a lookout point. Not as much of a hike as we did on Koh Phangan yesterday. Nowhere near, thank God. I wouldn't have made it today. But yeah, it's a nice little viewpoint. It's a bit weird because it's set up with like a bar and stuff, but it's all just kind of abandoned. I don't know if that's since COVID or if it just wasn't finished and then COVID happened, but I'll show you what I mean. Quite a shame really, because it'd be really nice if it, obviously if they had the money to finish it and do it up. But well, it's got quite a nice view. Yeah, there is. It's a shame. 
We had to pay 50 baht each to get in, but we did get a bottle of ice water, so that made it worth it. <laughs> I say get in, but there's not really much to get into, but oh well. Here is the view. Got some people snorkeling and diving down there. We are stood on this little viewing platform thing. Stopped off at 7 Eleven on the way back to the hostel for a couple of ham and cheese toasties. You know the drill by now. <laughs> they're our favourite thing and they're literally less than £2. How much are they? Are these like a pound each? Less? Less than like 80p. Yeah, so good. I got the uh, ham and cheese croissant though today and Dylan got the toasty again. Oh yeah, here's our new bike. It's bright yellow this time. Same model though, I think. Yeah, stands out. Hi guys, so, look at my hair again. I am, it's literally just started raining out of nowhere. That's so bizarre because it's been so hot today. Dylan's just set off to go snorkeling as well and it's literally just started absolutely pissing it down. So I'm just back at the hotel now. I wanted to come back and have a bit of a rest just because I already said but I'm really sunburned and when I get sunburned, I don't just get a burn. It like fully wears me out and I need to sit and rest. So I, I'm just gonna get some work done, some editing, have a bit of a rest. I always feel like this is one of the things when you back back in is that you tend to feel like a bit of FOMO, like fear of missing out and like you wanna be out all day and stay out like you do on holiday. But then you kind of have to remind yourself actually it's not a normal holiday i'm backpacking for however many months so it's not possible to stay out all day every day you have got to come back to the room and recharge if you need to but now it's started raining i think i prefer to be inside to be honest i am also just booking a few excursions for us to do on this island good morning guys so it's now the next day it is saturday I think. Um, this morning we're up pretty early to go and do our Thai cooking class. I am so excited for this, it's something that I really really wanted to do while here in Thailand because I absolutely love cooking, I've never done a cooking class before and I've been really really loving Thai food since we got here which is so surprising because I thought it was all going to be spicy which I absolutely can't eat anything spicy at all but there's actually some really really nice dishes and it doesn't all have to be spicy which is good so I booked us on a Thai cooking class just me and Dylan are you ready to go? I'm ready to go <laughs> are you excited for the cooking class? yeah I think Dylan was not so not as excited as me but I think he'll enjoy it once you get there I'm not a cooker yeah but she teaches you that's the point she's a chef she teaches you what to do I can't do it when you show me how to do it this is my outfit for cooking school. <laughs> I've got my legs back out today. Hopefully it's gonna be fine. So this is the name of the cooking class that we went to and I would highly recommend checking it out if you are on Koh Tao because the lady was such a good teacher. She was so friendly and overall it was just really good value. We paid 1500 baht per person for a three hour lesson. It was just me and Dylan. We got to pick the dishes ourselves so we chose to make spring rolls which you can see us preparing here and i chose chicken and cashew nuts which is my favorite and dylan chose chicken pad thai and it was really good because literally everything you do from scratch from chopping the vegetables to making the sauces and everything so overall it was just a really really fun afternoon and of course the best bit is getting to eat all the food at the end it was honestly so delicious and after our cooking class, we went to check out this place called Freedom Beach, which is honestly one of the nicest little beaches that I've seen on the island. Highly recommend it if you're on Koh Tao. It's really dark in here because we've only got one light working for some reason. But we've just got back from the beach. It's nearly 8 o'clock, we're just heading out for some food now. We're going to go to a place called Hacienda, which is like an English pub, apparently. And they do like roast dinners. But well, apparently they always sell out of roast dinners, so I'm not sure if we'll get one or not, but hopefully. Got this top from Zara. Dylan's got his Red Bull top on. Got my white denim skirt. And then I'm just going to wear flip-flops as well. Here is mine. So the next morning we were up pretty early to go on our snorkeling trip. 
and as you'll see later this is where everything went wrong but for the full day snorkeling trip we paid 500 baht per person so our first stop on the tour today is this island I'll write it on screen so this is a private island it's just off the coast of Koh Tao I think it took us about 20-25 minutes on the boat to get here um, technically it's a collection of three tiny islands but they're all connected by a strip of land walk from one island onto the other. Um, so the first stop of the day, we got I think nearly two hours here but we spent most of that time queuing to get up to the viewpoint. We literally queued about an hour and a half I'd say, yeah. right up the side of a mountain in this massive line to get up to the viewpoint. The island is pretty strict because it's a private island, it's got quite a few rules. One of them is that you can't bring any plastic onto the island or any cans, which means that you can't bring any water bottles on, so we waited in that line in the sun with no water as well. We've got four other stops today and they're all going to be actual snorkeling ones, because we've not done any snorkeling yet on our snorkeling day. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the only stop where you actually get off the boat, because the others were just going to be on the boat in the water, getting off to snorkel. If you know what I mean, we're not actually going to be on an island. Yeah, it's a really pretty island. You do have to pay to get on the island as well. It's 250 baht entrance fee just to the island, even if you booked on a tour. Everyone. Hi guys, so it is now Monday and we have just checked out of our hotel here on Koh Tao. Um, we've just gone to 7-Eleven to get some water because I needed to take some medication. We've got about an hour before we need to take back our bike. We're taking it back for two o'clock. Then we're going to take the taxi to the pier and get the ferry to Koh Samui. We're going back to Koh Samui because it's the only island with an airport and we need to fly up north. Our next destination is going to be back up north. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Our flight's actually tomorrow so we're going to be spending one night in Koh Samui. We're going to go back to the same hotel that we were in last time, Samui Mermaid, because we really liked it and we know the resort and it's really near the airport as well. So yeah, vitamin C waters that we've shown in all of the vlogs, they're actually really nice and I feel like they do actually make you feel a bit better and a bit lifted. The last thing that I filmed yesterday was the start of the snorkeling trip and Let's just say everything went wrong yesterday, which sometimes does happen when you're backpacking and people don't often show it. They only tend to show like the highlights in their travel vlogs, but I'll just tell you guys now, it's definitely not always highlights. Things do go wrong and yesterday was one of those days. It's short. Well, at least for me. It's short. I nearly carried on the trip on my own. <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> not to exaggerate, but... I nearly died yesterday, um, so yeah, off oh, the snorkeling trip. I'm not going to give it a bad review because I feel like everyone else had a really good time and obviously it's what Koh Tao is known for, is it's snorkeling, scuba diving and marine life and people, like even Dylan, you had a good time didn't you? Yeah. I and I feel like the whole, the rest of the boat had a good time besides me. So I can't really give it a bad review. You guys saw the day started off at that private island, which was a bit of a stress to begin with, because as you saw, we had to queue up for two hours to get to the viewpoint, and we only got two hours on the island as part of the tour. So essentially, we didn't really get to see much of the island. Then we were back straight on the boat, and we went to four different locations, but in each location, we never actually docked. So we basically stopped in the middle of the ocean at four different places and everyone just jumped off the boat right into open water like I don't know I just thought we were going to be snorkeling like by the beach or at least somewhere where fair, you could that. stand up I didn't know we were just going to be in the middle of the ocean so I can swim however I've not actually been swimming for quite a few years so it probably wasn't the best idea to just get off the boat into the middle of the ocean when I'm so out of practice but because everyone else was doing it I just did it as well um, so most people were jumping off the boat Dylan jumped off but I actually went down the ladders we kind of had an argument about this because 
Dylan basically didn't wait for me but I don't think he knew that he had to wait for me so he jumped off and like swam away like everyone else then I came off the boat looking for him and saw that he was quite a far distance away so then I was panicking thinking I've got to swim like in open water all the way to get to him so that's what I had to do because everyone else was jumping off the boat I couldn't like stay there I had to move so I'm there like swimming over to him and guys I was so out of breath I'm not even exaggerating it was so so difficult I saw the panic and started to swim over yeah Dylan saw the panic and started coming towards me and I was like I just need to get to him I just need to grab onto him so I don't sink eventually I got to him and grabbed onto him but then obviously he was saying oh you're pulling me down you're pulling me down so he's like let's go back to the boat so we tried to swim back to the boat but at this point I was just so out of breath and I was so weak like I physically couldn't carry myself so Dylan's trying to swim with me like sort of on his back back to the boat <laughs> but then he was like you're sinking me you're sinking me so we got relatively yeah, close I'm being drowned in seawater <laughs> the seawater all in the Salt, eye I'm taking yeah. about a liter of, of breath Horrendous. salt water was in my nose in my eyes and it was really painful got relatively close to the boat and then Dylan was like right you can swim from here but I couldn't so then he was still like trying to push me back to the boat and anyway eventually I grabbed onto the boat and I got back on and after that I just didn't get back in the water that was the first stop out of the four stops and I think at each location we probably stopped for about half an hour 40 minutes so I just stayed on the boat the whole time while everyone else jumped off because after that panic attack I just didn't want to get back in the water because I just knew that I would the same thing would happen and I just like if you'll know if you've had one you just don't want to get back in that situation so yeah in hindsight I probably should have put a life jacket on but everyone was doing it without life jackets I didn't actually know that you could put one on no one told you to put one on either so I just sat on the boat but Dylan got to see some fish didn't you and he saw a turtle loads of fish and my first giant turtle that's good yeah I've seen turtles up close before so it wasn't like really upsetting that I didn't get to see it and Dylan got some good pictures so but yeah that was yesterday honestly after that whole escapade I just felt so physically drained the whole day so I was just sat on the boat and even like all last night I felt really drained as well in the middle of the night I got woken up again with really really bad stomach pains which I had last week in Koh Samui so I was ill all night with that and this morning so it wasn't a great day for me but just keeping it real uh, on our way to the pier. bye bye Kotal bye bye Kotal so guess who forgot to end this vlog again but I hope you all enjoyed thank you so much for watching if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one so I'll see you all for that vlog in a few days bye